Hi, this is Max, and I'm going to be making a few videos about the NBA because the college basketball season is now over. And now that we are in the playoffs, it seemed like a good time to get on the NBA topic. My dad and I have been looking at some very cool statistics about points, rebounds, you name it. And we saw a spark in Mason Plumley. Here is an interesting chart with lots of dots, as you can see. Across the bottom, we have few goals attempted per game. Going up, we have effective field goal percentage. This basically means the better shooter you are, the higher effective field goal percentage you'll have. It's a number that has been adjusted for three-pointers. We're looking at all of the NBA players on just one chart. The average NBA player shoots about 49%, as you can see on this horizontal line. As you can see, everyone above the line is a very good shooter and should definitely be shooting more. If you're below the line, you might want to consider passing more or even work on your shot. This is very interesting and something I never would have guessed. Did you know that Mason Plumlee on the Brooklyn Nets has an effective field goal percentage of over 57%. Remember, the NBA average is only around 49. That means Mason Plumlee should definitely be shooting more. And he should probably be playing more. So, Coach Hollings, if you're listening, you need to put Mason Plumlee in the game and not Thaddeus Young. Take a look at this chart. This is the same chart we looked at before but just for the Nets and not all NBA players. Look who has the best effective field goal percentage on the team. That, that's crazy. Don't get me wrong, I love Jared Jack and Joe Johnson, but they're shooting a lot more than they should. They're just not getting the same results as Mason Plumley. Mason, you need to shoot five or six more times per game. However, that's gonna be difficult if Coach Hollings has you sitting on the bench. If you were impressed by Mason Plumlee's effective field goal percentage, you're going to be even more impressed by his rebounding. Across the bottom, we have offensive rebounds adjusted for time. Going up, we have defensive rebounds also adjusted for time. Guess who's leading the team again? Mason Plumlee. This is why I think it's really cool to look at the stats. I mean, especially in this time when if you lose in the playoffs, that's it, you're done. I hope you like these charts on the Brooklyn Nets and Mason Plumlee. I hope you stay tuned and get ready for some more basketball analysis coming soon.